Hello YouTubers, coming at you real quick, it's uh, Renegade Motors, Team Yellow is the page, and I am going to show you today a little DIY on how to make a steam port vent for a LS motor. Steam vent port, if it's not in the right app. vehicle is a uh, 1993 Nissan 240SX convertible. And uh, I currently have a LM7 motor inside of it. Uh, we'll take a this look. This is my LM7 motor. I almost died just now. You're a witness to that. And uh, I've never owned an LS car, so I don't know uh, how factory applications run the steam port. Steam vent ports. Uh, I have LS6 heads, the two, 243s. So they have... So they have two of these, is one on this side, and then one on the back side. Boom, there we go. And same thing goes for the other heads. Uh, the crossover tube kit that I have, they all merge into one. So this side goes to this side, and then they both converge up front, and then they cross over here and then this is what this is a little nipple for the steam port your wheels but uh due to me never owning an actual ls1 car that came factory i don't know how the steam ports were originally supposed to be set up um i've seen different people put it into their water pumps um i've heard great things about putting it into their water pump but the my water pump came from a local parts store so it has a lifetime replacement on it, um, and I'm pretty sure if you get one of those managers that's what, that wants to be a dick about things, that if you drill a hole up here, um, they'll try to say that void the warranty because it's not supposed to be up here. You know, if you decide to put a fitting up, sorry, I have to get it out of my pocket. So boom, you know, some people really truly just put a hole in it and then they tap it and they make the threads inside of it and they just run it right there. Um, they say to run the steam ports at the highest point of the motor, so either water pump or your top radiator line. Um, I decided to do mine in the top radiator line, and I'll show You'll you. What need it. for this, you need a tap and die set. Honestly, go go spend twenty bucks on it. It will pay for itself in no time. Uh, I got a drill bit set um, to help me make even holes, and and them to they too pay for themselves. And I just got some um, 90 degree angles and a six inch pipe. So this right here was a pipe. Basically I used my uh, hole drill to create the hole. Just put an X on it wherever you want to run it. You know, go slow on it, put that hole in there. And then I took a one eighth thread and uh, put uh, threads inside of it. It's kind of hard to see those threads, but they are there. Now the issue that I have is um, I got this pipe from Lowe's and I got the fitting from Lowe's, but the fitting itself is for one one fourth. And I need one eighth. So I am headed over there now to uh, go get some adapters to make uh, this turn this into a one eighth, and then the one eighth is going to go one eighth uh, MPT. It's uh, threaded on by one eighth on both sides. Then I got this uh, coupler. It is one eighth on the bottom and one fourth on the top. And we know that this is a one fourth threads, uh, one and a quarter, however you want to say it. I don't care. We're gonna put them all together. Give you an idea what's we're gonna, going. We're gonna tighten up things. Uh, make them a little bit snugger because uh, this is sitting kind of tall, sitting a little bit on the taller side. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty fucking tall. I'm pretty sure I still have enough space for it, but I'm gonna try to get that down some. Um, of course, you're gonna want to put uh, Teflon tape on all the threads, um, especially the threads that's gonna be going to the pipe. I'm gonna take my uh, one eighth, and I am going to uh, go a little bit deeper with the threads I need to make into it. Uh, so that this 
the fitting I have can uh, thread down deep. When you're doing it, make sure that you are as straight as you can be. It should focus. Can you do that? You know, you just want to make sure that you're nice and straight. Uh, I'm going to get this threaded. And All right, so it looks a little funky. You know, uh, this whole DIY uh, steam vent. But, you know, as far as height goes, uh, it's not higher than the intake. So the intake can close. Then you shouldn't have an issue. It is right there about the same line as the radiator cap. You know, um... When we tighten things up, things should go down a little bit. This is uh, just a little test fit. Still going to have to put Teflon tape on it and everything, but um, all in all, this should work out. So, uh, you know, rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, any questions about how it's working out, just uh, drop a comment. I'll get back to you. Later, guys. Here is my finished product. Uh, spray painted the pipe black just so it wouldn't look like that ugly silver. Uh, Teflon tape. Going into the pipe, uh, uh, the liquid Teflon tape going into this bottom coupler and Teflon and the liquid going on top. That's what you see around there. And I got it a decent amount in there. But yeah, DIY, steam vent.